Take two, I guess the microphone wasn't on on the last one there. So it looks like it's on here. So I'm gonna walk it out with you guys. And this is all part of the, uh, I call it the uh, HFX, where we had to kind of saw cut and break out some existing foundations to put some new piers in and also to put uh, some new gray beans in to extend the house. So let me flip the camera around, show you what we got. So all these piers, cages, is for all these piers here. So there's gonna be a pier and a gray beam system set up here. I think it's like 25 of them here. We're gonna tie in the gray beam. They're gonna extend the house out uh, here. It's kind of straightforward. The, the digging of the piers went pretty, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. We well, see those two cutouts where they have it shored up. We're gonna have to cut those out and make that gray beam bigger for the HFX. Um, so we gotta cut that out. Now I did miss those on the plan, so this is just something that's semi kind of new to me as far as dealing with foundations to this extent. We got the driveway. They pretty much got the okay for the retaining wall, so we're gonna jump back on that. Gonna walk down here, and again, this is gonna be extended out. All these holes are about 12 feet, 12 feet deep. We're gonna be looking for that salt later, I guarantee you. So we got some plywood, we're gonna make some, uh, got some plywood. We're gonna, uh, so we can cover up the rest of the holes. They all been inspected. Here's a closer look of what we gotta cut out. So basically we gotta cut out from here, all of this. And then the new gray beam itself is gonna be, I believe 24 inches wide or, or 22, I'm not sure. But they're gonna have an HFX in this corner. And they also gonna have one in that corner over there. So let's walk up inside. <laughs> and here's the inside look of it. So here, here are two of the piers right here. This is inside the house. Um, so we had to dig everything inside. Unfortunately, I didn't get us doing that part here. So we had to make this great beam bigger. All of this is gonna be connected. We have another one here, and this is in the a old kitchen, and they're gonna extend the kitchen as well. So all of this pretty much lines up right through the house, from one end to the other end. We're gonna add another HFX here. And I believe that new one is just more or less to support the wall. You guys can kind of see where we hit the ceiling, putting them in, but they're replacing it anyway. So these are all about 12 feet. We brought them all in by hand. Of course, we got those. And here is the, uh, the other one. So you can see the original two piers we had right there. One is there, one is over there. That's who we are. And so we're gonna fill it all in with rebar, I'll get some video of that as well. And then we're on to the next step, but I just wanted to get you guys a quick update on what we're doing. And again, these are just called, we're just cutting into the foundation to add some 
HFX. So here's on the outside, that's one. Here's the second one. Like again, we just tied them into the, we're gonna tie them into the new piers we dug here. So once we get the cage, you'll see it. When we started breaking them out, we just said we're gonna leave this rebar here. So this is already tied in here. And here we're gonna have to dial in a couple of uh, rebars, number five, and just tie all this together. But there was no need to break this out if it stays since we broke. So it can all just stay together. You can kind of see over here as well. Got your boy Joe Josh, you wanna say something? Mm. And here's the third one. Here. And we're gonna work on this final one right now here. 